Welcome everyone, in this video I will show you the changes that I made to the fun with Flutter web application. As you may have heard, Flutter web has now been merged with the main Flutter repository, meaning you no longer have to do conditional um, imports, so out of the box you can just use Flutter web. Um, I lie, it's not actually out of the box, there are still some conditions. For one, you need to enable Flutter web and you also need to be on the dev or the master branch. But aside from that, um, life is a lot smoother now. So let's jump in and I'm going to show you the changes that I made to the FunWith application. So nothing too fancy, just a little bit of an animation. But the impressive bits are actually under the hood, things that I didn't do. And the first thing that I uh, appreciate the most is the fact that it now detects uh, the mouse as, a, as an input mechanism. So before that it registered clicks but it didn't register ho hovers. So now you can see these um, uh, panels over here, they get highlighted and same for the buttons. For these buttons I actually created my own listenables that detects um, mouse hover and by default buttons will also be highlighted. And uh, also the um, entire animation is a lot smoother. Things feel faster, um, they look a bit crisper. It's overall just a better experience. So let's jump into the blog post that I made specifically for the updates to Flutter Web. And if you're interested, give this one a read through, it's pretty small. They're essentially just links and uh, a couple of steps that you need to do that um, will guide you through using uh, Flutter Web in your application. And I also mentioned a couple of hiccups that I encountered, or at least maybe not hiccups, but at least some things to be aware of some things that you might need to do that are specific to get your applications working in Flutter Web. Um, stuff like um, making a link clickable or maybe something like if you go and to the login page over here and to just do something like tabbing between these two. There are some specific things that you might, uh, or might at this stage at least, you have to do um, to get it to work. So yeah, I'll be making videos and blog posts about that you may have noticed that there is now a login screen. So you can actually now create an account on the FunWith app and uh, technically nothing will happen. It will just sign you in, like legit sign you in using Firebase. Um, there is no actual content behind that. Aside from one pop-up that will tell you the Flutter YouTuber who I like the most, or maybe not like the, the most, but whose content I've been watching the most or maybe whose content I feel has helped me the most. So yeah, if, if you are curious who that may be, click on don't have an account and sign in and you will see. In addition to that, I will also be rewarding early, um, early birds who sign up with uh, promotions or discounts for content that I release in the future. So yeah, definitely don't miss that out. Um, sign up for an account. And um, yeah, I'll also be making a video on how to use Firebase or the web or Firebase for Flutter web. I guess there are tons of videos on using Firebase for the web. And uh, yeah, let's actually jump to the code. You know what, actually before we jump to the code, I want to go back and roll back to a previous version. So I've, I've already done that as a test. And I'm gonna say this one, the one launched on August 26. Actually, no, it needs to be later than that. July 28th. Let's roll back to this one. Yeah, also note the number of si uh, files here. 287 compared to 16 now. That is because now you can actually um, build for release on Flutter Web. I'm not too sure if that was possible with the previous um, Flutter dev or Flutter Web dev. But yeah, uh, regardless, you can now build for release mode and as you can see, um, way less files. But yeah, let's roll back to this one. And cool, we are rolled back. So if we open a private browser. And here we have the old version. So bear with me. Um, maybe it looks better, maybe it looks worse. Um, but it definitely um, responds worse. Like the animation is not as smooth. And that's not anything I did my side. Like nothing has been optimized in such a way that such uh, performance would be um, observed. It's literally like uh, optimizations on Flutter website. 
And you can also note that nothing happens when I hover over buttons. The mouse is literally just there to handle taps. So yeah, goodbye to this one. We no longer have to use this. And I assume in the future, it will just continue to improve. So let's roll back to this version over here and verify that it's working because I am paranoid. Yay. Look at that animation. Okay, and then let's jump to the code. This is the popsec.yaml file. Absolutely nothing special here. It's the standard all boring popsec.yaml file and uh, I'm not importing anything special. But I mean, the fact that I'm not importing anything special is what makes this special. Meaning that you can use all of these packages in your web application as you would use in Android and iOS. And as you can see, we have our Android folder, we have our iOS folder, we have our normal code, and then now we have this web folder, meaning that you can build for all three platforms from the same code base. It might not work, uh, depending, but you can. And uh, yeah, that's basically that, the end of the video. I'm very excited for Flutter Web. And uh, as I mentioned in the actual blog post, uh, where is it? I'm saying it is super awesome. So yeah, stay on the lookout for my videos um, covering other Flutter Web related content. I'll be releasing those fairly soon. And then also go ahead and create an account on the FunWeb application. Until next video, cheers.